Yeah, what did I say? Uh, the first one, uh, a forward contract involves a commitment today to purchase a product. See, uh, what is the extension to date? Extension to this on a specific future date at a price to be determined sometime in the future. Absolutely wrong. On a specific future date at a price determined today. Yes, forward contract is all about purchasing some asset in the future. Okay, for a price determined today. So option B goes well. And about the second one we discussed, company has recently purchased some stock of a competitor as a part of long term plan to acquire the competitor. So I have given the example right now. However, it is somewhat concerned that the market price of the stock would decrease over short run. So let's say company wants to buy XYZ company wants to buy ABC company stock. ABC company's competitor for XYZ and the stock is trading at $100 today. Now XYZ is concerned. XYZ definitely wants or desires this stock value to go up, but it is uh, uh, like meantime also concerned that if this stock value goes down, then what uh, XYZ can do to minimize its losses? Let's say the stock value goes from 100 to 200. Okay, let's say it goes from 100 to 200. XYZ will be very happy. Okay, because it will get a gain of 100. But if it goes down from 100 to 40, then what? So XYZ has to think all these factors. So what they have done is they have taken a put option and the strike price what they have, uh, the, the put option is available for the uh, available to them for $80. This is a strike price. Let's say uh, you know, like put option is nothing but uh, you know, all the derivatives are nothing but such contracts uh, which derive their value from the underlying asset. So derivatives value would closely depend on or would definitely increase or decrease with the increase or decrease in the value of the underlying asset. So here the underlying asset is the ABC company stock whose option XYZ is considering to purchase and the option is also put option. Put option is let me tell you about put option. Put option is option to sell. OK. So very clear now XYZ uh, has taken a put option for $100 uh, for $80. Let's say the put is available for $80 and the stock value has gone to 40. Now uh, in the stock market XYZ company is going to incur a loss of $60 in the stock market. In the option market when the stock goes down to 40 since the option is to sell they can buy the stock at 40 and sell at 80. So they will make a gain of $40. That is the value of the put option and they have to pay a premium of $2 in this case. So $38 is the net gain what they are going to make in the options market. So stock market loss is 60. Options market gain is 38. So net is loss of 22. So they saved their loss. They have uh, you know minimized their losses from $60 to $22. OK, since they made a gain of $38 in the options market. So this is what they have done. They have minimized the losses completely uh, or not completely. I would say uh, to a very great extent. That is what the put option can do for them. OK, now the automobile company that uses the futures market to set price of steel to protect a profit against price increase is an example of what? Can anyone tell me? Oh, long yeah, see what happens. A automobile company that uses futures market to set a price of steel. So they want to set a price of steel to protect a profit. Against price increase. See what happens if uh, like you know uh, what happens. Change in the prices can be minimized or avoided by hedging because you know if the prices change and go against our wish and will then we are going to incur losses. So you know hedging is what is a process of using offsetting commitments to minimize uh, or avoid the impact of adverse price movements. Fine. So now, now what happens the automobile company here what desires to stabilize the price of steel so that its cost to company will not raise uh, rise and cut into profits. What happens? If the price of the steel rises for them, if they are going to buy and they are going, they have to pay higher price, that will decrease their profit. So they have they want the steel to be purchased at lower prices. Okay, so for that they'll fix the price to date itself. So when you want to buy something in the future for which you are going to fix the prices today, 
it is a long hedge you are taking a long position in the futures are you understanding please tell me yes sir yes sir yeah so they have purchased they have you know gone for a long hedge uh, and uh, they have fixed the price today uh, uh, for the uh, steel what they want to buy in the future and in future when the prices even rise they'll buy at the same price at which they fix the price today so they are going for a long hedge come on let's go for this question uh, you are currently holding a call option on a stock with an excise price of 100 if the current stock price 90 the intrinsic value of option is what can anyone tell me the answer for this yes samreen can you see first of all you are currently holding a call option right on a stock your exercise price is 100 call option means if the prices go up you exercise the option if the prices go down you let it lapse am i right oh, yes and the price has gone to 90 yes, will you exercise this option never oh, so okay. the intrinsic value is zero zero because if you think that it is going to be 10 we are not going to exercise right so it's zero that's it we are not going to exercise we are not going to we are going to let it lapse and they have did, they haven't given me uh you know the premium or something like that so intrinsic value is zero shall it is out of the money it is when the stock price is more than uh, sorry when the strike price is more than stock price it is out of the money and it will never be exercised okay and you okay. should know the for any out of the money option the intrinsic value is always zero in case of call option i want you to do this question i'm waiting fast involve yourself please an investor wrote a call option wrote is nothing but selling a call option okay for 45 dollars you are an option writer and bought a put option for 50 dollars here uh, uh selling a call and simultaneously buying a put for 50 dollars this is the strike price for put option this is the uh selling a call option that means you sold a call option to someone else who has bought a call option from you that is the option to buy so he will uh, buy uh like you know uh, st uh stock at this price okay fine and uh on the transaction date the stock price was 45 and the prices for call option and put options were 8 and 10 these are nothing but premiums for call you got a premium of $8 for put you paid a premium of $10 so i'll put this in negative i'll put this in box this is income for you this is expense the stock prices fell by $10 and it remained through the option expiration date as of the expiration date the total profit on the combined option position ignoring commissions and other transactions so what happens see for see if you have taken a put option and the strike price is 50 and uh, the stock price has gone to what fell by 10 fell by 10 is it has gone to 40 is it right so if it has gone to 40 the value of the put option for you is 10 dollars am i right yes or no yes and uh, just a second 
the stock price was yes 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 sorry 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 stock price was previously 45 now fell by 10 means is 35 no 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 see okay okay this is a put option uh, okay stock price is 45 and the prices for call uh, stock price fell by it. okay okay uh, stock price is 45 right and it has become how much 35 is it right hello yes sir yeah, i didn't see this sorry so stock price was 45 and it has fell it has fell by 10 dollars it is 35 so what happens you know the option closely you know uh, relates to this price okay it is you know dependent on this price so if it has gone to 35 in the in the stock market you have got a loss of 10 dollars right correct stock market losses 10 dollars okay option market it has gone to 35 right option market gain is how much Value of the put option is how much? Fifteen dollars. Please tell me. Value of the put option is how much? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Please understand. I'll tell you. Fifteen dollars. But the premium what they are paying is ten dollars. So for them the gain from the option market is five dollars. Correct? Yes. 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 Okay. So from put option they have a gain of five dollars. So because we are not uh, concerned with stock market loss, they only told us to find out the total profit on combined option position. So we are only looking for the option profits. So for put option we got a profit of five dollars. Okay, one thing is done. Second. call option the stock price is how much 35 correct yes and uh, you have sold a call option uh, the price of the call option has gone down 35 do you think the other guy will exercise the option no he will no. not exercise the option okay and for you uh, like if the prices go up the other guy will exercise the option and for you the loss would be unlimited if the prices go up like anything if the prices go to 100 then you are going to have a loss of 55 but here the prices have gone down is it right yes sir so for you you have a you have taken the charge the premium for this option of 8 dollars so that's the gain for you that's the income for you so from put option 8 from uh, uh, sorry from call option 8 from put option 5 so total gain is 13 dollars right make a note yes. of sorry it's very untidy work i have done but please still try to manage if any doubts you can ask me any doubts please tell me i will solve once again i will neatly solve do you want me to neatly solve did not no one is saying Yes, yes. Sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay, no worries. See, you are selling a call option for forty-five dollars. The prices have gone to thirty-five dollars. Okay, okay. You will never exercise the option, and for that you are charging a premium of eight dollars. That is your income finished. Put option because the stock price has gone to thirty-five, right? And uh, today the stock is trading at forty-five. Option is also. Uh, you have sold uh, when you sold the option to them. Uh, you sold at forty-five dollars only. Okay. Now, if the prices go up, 
there is a gain for the option buyer and for you as an option writer it's a loss but the stock has gone down so the other guy the option buyer will not access the option so for you the gain would be uh, only the option premium what you are uh, charging that's what your gain is because you're an option seller but you purchase a put option for strike price of uh, where is that 50 and you are pay, paying a premium of 10 dollars put this in bracket stock price has gone to 40 is it right how much sorry 35 decreased by 10 dollars 35 now for you you can buy the stock at 35 sell at 50 15 is the value of the put option minus 10 is your option premium so net gain is 5 dollars so now 8 dollars from here call option Five dollars from put option. Total thirteen dollars from combined option position. Finish this fast. We will move forward. Done, sir. If a corporation stock price experiences increased volatility, what would happen to value of the call options and put options on the corporation stock? Tell me. See, if a corporation stock price experiences increased volatility, that means because of volatility, what happens? There's a chance of the uh, stock prices. Going either ways, either up or down. Correct or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Since both the yes. options are protecting you from the volatility, if if it goes up, you are getting a benefit from call option. If it goes down, you are getting a benefit from put option. Okay. So what will happen? Both call and put options would increase in value. Correct or wrong? Yes. distinguishing feature of futures contract is that what and can you answer performance delayed no delivery is to be on specific day uh, what is this is this a distinguishing feature in forward also delivery can happen the price is marked to mark marked to market is the yes when you do trading in futures it is marked to market every day every day the price is every second the price is adjusted this is wrong yeah if you trade in futures you'll understand every every second the price is adjusted when a firm finances each asset with financial instrument of same approximate maturity of as life of asset it is applying what of course hedging approach when a firm finances each asset with a financial instrument of same approximate maturity see you are taking a asset okay and uh, you know uh like uh, it is called maturity matching okay that means if you are uh, what is happening is life of asset and debt instrument used to finance the asset is a hedging approach how see example if i have some payables of 10 lakhs okay and i have receivables of 10 lakhs this will net or not this will net or not yes or no yes yes so yes. when firm finance if you are take if you are having some assets in your company you are financing them uh with some uh, bonds or something okay uh, of of same approximate maturity as life of the asset it so what happens when the asset matures and uh, then uh, like it will give you some value and you can pay off the debts also right yes right that's what okay. very clearly suppose let's say if i have uh, like you know purchased an asset and i have taken a loan for that asset of 10 lakhs and i've got 10 years time to pay that loan i can use this asset and generate revenues and pay this loan or not i can do that yes that's what yes 
example of coaching. As we discussed right now, matching assets with liabilities of same maturity. Yes. Right now only we discussed. Yes. 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 So you are buying an asset with a debt instrument to finance it because it will, you know, uh, the asset you'll use and generate revenue and you can make the payments with that. It is kind of hedging only. Which of the following is exercisable only at the expiration date? Can I say that as a yes, European yes. option? Yes, sir. That is the only one which is, you know, exercisable on the mature maturity date or the expiration date. American option can be excised any time before maturity date when you have benefits from that. Go for the 11th question and 12th. There are 24 questions. I'll solve till 12 or 13. What do you say? But in fact, 14 also I'm ready, 15 also I'm ready. Then you can solve the rest of the questions. Come on. Solve the 11th question. I'll be back in a second. Swap. Swap is the answer, right? Last option B. Swap, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah, just a second, Sam. Just a second. Give me a second. Just a second. Okay. okay. So what does the question say? An entity is planning uh, on issuing at par $5 million of 10 year non, -re non prepayable debt at 9%. That means this cannot be paid before the maturity. The entity wants to convert fixed rate interest payment to floating interest payments. Okay, this is I think swaps would go with this, right? Yes, sir. Only swaps is the one with which you can uh, exchange the fixed payments with floating payments, interest rate payments. Okay, our 12th question. Gold mining company expects to sell this much ounces of gold six months from today. The revenue risk of selling the gold can be hedged by. If they want to sell this gold six months from today, they can go for a futures contract. Yes. Yes. So selling a gold futures for this much on today that expires in six months. So a gold mining company expects to sell thousand ounces of gold six months from today, but they are worried that the prices would go down. So today itself they can make a contract with uh, with the persons who want to buy at price fixed today. 
with this they will sell the gold at that price only which they are fixing today right so they are hedging mm -hmm. that risk of foreign gold prices with what selling gold futures contract am i right or wrong yes sir correct yes sir yeah so they will lock in the selling price today they will fix the selling price today and sell at that price only in the future mm -hmm. right which one of the following is not determinant in valuing a call option anyone forward contract price mm -hmm. doesn't have anything to do with call option interest rate you can you can uh, interest rates also has options cap caller there are some options available you may not have an idea i don't uh, if that is the case then i am explaining you you can take caps sell callers this is the options related to interest rates excise price is of course typical of options expiration date for every derivative contract it's essential forward contract price is only for forward contracts next please tell me this one okay. i'm waiting for this american sorry american, american option is right yes correct any time before the expiry date okay last question company has account receivable from swiss company of this much francs in 3 months at time of contract the exchange rate is this the company wishes to meet manage foreign exchange exposure and therefore go can go for what i don't uh, sell us dollars futures shall they buy or shall they sell see they have account receivable see they have account receivable from a swiss company of this much francs which they have to convert into dollars right yes. so they will get this money in the future so they have to fix a uh, like you know uh, fix the uh, francs to dollar uh, exchange rate with bank today and uh, what they need to do they need to fix a price today with bank for what purpose they are going to get swiss francs they want to buy what dollars correct Yes, sir. Please tell me. Three um, options, sir. Buy US dollars. Yeah, see, they are going. Uh, see, US company has account receivable from Swiss company of this much francs. They will get that those money in francs. Now they have to exchange in dollars. So they have to buy uh, the futures for dollar, not sell. Okay. Yes. Sell a Swiss franc. Inter. Where is this relevant? Buy US dollars futures. Absolutely right. No. Why currency swap? So now the rest of the questions you can do. I'm leaving on you. With this, we we'll finish cost of capital. Next section is what we have to do. Working capital management. Some 131 questions are there. Okay. okay. So yes. we will take the class on Wednesday. Is it right? On Wednesday. Okay, sir. Morning, seven o'clock. Be ready for the class. I am fixing the class today itself. Wednesday, seven p.m., seven seven thirty, whatever. I'll definitely come. Surely I'll come online and I'll take the class for this topic. This is what I am uh, planning to finish in couple of days. Then I think only pricing would be there, right? Uh, no, sir. Cor corporate reconstruction also. Okay, restructuring. Okay, then these two topics we will be taking up. No problem. Pricing is small topic only. We can finish. This is what we have to see. Exchange rates and all. Fine. We'll take this one. No problem. Okay. Okay, sir. Sure. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm. I have to go in a wedding. If I'm not going in a wedding, I'll see. Uh, I can take. I'll inform you. If I can take, I'll take the class after some time also. I'll just discuss because of rain. We are thinking actually. It's a family okay. wedding, so that's what. Okay. But okay. I'll confirm within some time. If I'm taking, I'll take the class. Okay. Yeah. And start with working capital. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.